Hi, it's Frankie Dahi with VMAX Omega here in Irvine, California. And thank you for visiting my video blog. This is a part one of a two part video series in how to handle multiple offers. We are in one of the most active real estate markets in the recent years. And it's common to be involved in a multiple offer situation when buying or selling. Today, I'll focus on factors sellers need to consider in evaluating offers and choosing the best offer. And I'll address how buyers can successfully compete in a multiple offer situation in my next video. Price is obviously the first factor all sellers take into account. The higher the price, the better the bottom line for the seller. However, the price should not be the only factor taken into account. You need to evaluate and consider all the other terms and conditions in each offer in order to come up with the highest, best offer. For example, financing. There are different types of loans, government loans, conventional loans, uh, different loan-to-value ratios, different amount of down payments, and buyer's ability to secure a loan within the timeline allowed. And of course, if the buyer is obtaining a loan from a local lender, then you could verify the information consistently uh, versus an uh, out-of-state online source. Regardless of the price, each one of these factors could impact buyer's ability to close escrow. You also need to evaluate buyer's source of fund and find out if the buyer's funds are verifiable, liquid, and readily available, or are they contingent upon sale of buyer's property or buyer's ability to transfer funds from another country. In comparing the offers, you also need to evaluate the contingencies and conditions of the purchase for each offer, such as inspection, appraisal, loan contingencies, and the time period the buyers are asking in order to satisfy those conditions. Obviously, as a seller, it's to your advantage to have a shorter time period in order to reduce your risk. Another factor to take into account is if the buyer has the ability and the flexibility to close escrow within the time period that you need or you require. And lastly is what I call added values. For you to determine if you could negotiate an added value in the process, like uh, getting a rent back if that's what you need or a free month rent, or have the buyers remove some of or all of the contingencies to make their offer a stronger offer. Hopefully this information will help you in evaluating and choosing the best offer on your home in a multiple offer situation. Again, thank you for watching my video blog and remember, who you work with matters.